So now let's go ahead and talk about a square. Um, so squares are kind of the most special quadrilateral of all. Um, and so we'll start by just talking about the definition of a square. Um, and a square is, as I mentioned before, a quadrilateral with four congruent sides and four congruent angles, which of course means that they're all 90 degrees. And you might notice here that the four congruent sides is just the definition of a rhombus and the four congruent angles which are all 90 degrees is a rectangle so really a square just is a both a rhombus and a rectangle which means it's going to have the properties of both so let's go ahead and first off put in our definition here and that is that it has four congruent sides and four right angles and then everything else follows as well. So we know that um, both a rhombus and a rectangle are um, parallelograms, meaning that they have opposite sides that are parallel to each other. And then just as I did in the previous examples, I'm gonna add in our diagonals here, and we know a lot of information about those as well. One, we know that they are perpendicular bisectors of each other and also that they bisect the vertices here. And in fact, we're gonna get a ton of just symmetry throughout this whole thing. And so I didn't, I decided not to list out all the properties of this because I wanted you to just kind of see the symmetry and hopefully just remember all of these properties all put together. And the only difference between you know, this and a rhombus or a rectangle is knowing which properties of the square come from the rhombus and which ones of them come from the rectangle. Um, but it's all the same properties. So if you can remember the basic symmetry and those basic properties, um, you shouldn't have too much trouble with squares.